Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be working on probability. Um, and this We're going to do a problem on rolling a six-sided die. And I just want to show you guys how drawing a picture might help you better than using a formula. Though using the formula is very helpful um, for more complex problems. But if you just use intuition versus formula methods, um, it might be helpful in understanding why the formula is true. And it will help you actually understand what you're doing. Um, so I just drew a little kind of um, I don't know, screen to show kind of what we'll be doing, like six-sided die and Venn diagram and probability formulas that you'll be seeing. Um, okay, so let's just jump right into it. So you roll six-sided die, and it says A is the problem is the event of getting an even number. Okay, so what's the sample space or omega um, of getting an even number? So the even numbers on the six-sided die are two, four, and six. That's simple. Those are the possible outcomes. Um, for an even number. Now B says is a multiple of 3. Okay, so a multiple of 3 would be 3 and 6. Those are the only two options. Okay, so these are your sample spaces for A and B. Um, so the first um, part says sketch a Venn diagram. So this is the picture method we're going to touch on first. So if you just sketch a di Venn diagram which looks like this, um, it'll help you determine uh, the probability of the events. Okay, so let's make this circle A and this circle B. Now this region here represents uh, the shared space. So let's see which numbers do A and B have in common. It's 6. Okay, so that means 6 is shared between the two. And the rest you just put in area A and area B. So area A there's numbers 2 and 4 and in area B there's number 3. There you go. But what other numbers are on, are there in a six-sided die? We're missing 1 and 5, right? Well since that's not in the um, event A or event B um, then you would just include them on the outside anywhere in the Venn diagram. So they're just not in the circles and they're in this blue square or plane. Um, so that would be drawing a Venn diagram, just so you can kind of visualize what's going on um, in in the event here. Okay, so the next question asked, um, what's the probability of A or B, but the complement? That little C means complement. So what that really is saying is everything not in A or B. Um, so, that would be what's not in A or B. Well, we were just talking about that, 1 and 5. So, that is your answer, 1 and 5. Okay, so, just to clarify, A or B means, okay, so, like, what's in A is 2, 4, and 6, and B is here. What's not in both of them? That's kind of just how you think about it. Now, this um, means intersect or and, and this means or, or union. Um, so now it's asking um, what's in A or B, or everything not in it. Okay, wait, hold on. So this in itself, don't ignore the complement right now, is saying what do A and B have in common? And that is 6, we figured out, based off of the Venn diagram. See how this is kind of helping? Um, now the complement means the opposite. Everything not in A and B. So if 6 is our what is in A and B, so what's everything that's not 6? Well, that's 1 through 5, right? So we'll just write that down here. So you could get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. Okay, this one I'm going to do on another slide. Okay, the probability of getting A or B. So the probability is the number of outcomes over the total. So that would be the probability of getting A plus the probability of getting B. But if you notice, if you look at the Venn diagram here, there's two things that are, that are shared, or 6 is the thing that's shared between A and B. So the probability of A is here, the probability of B is here, but the, this is shared. So if you did just this, your probability would be off. You would get an... Uh, incorrect answer. 
So you would actually have to subtract the probability of A and B, which is that 6, the probability of getting that 6, which you should know, the probability of getting a 6 on a 6-sided die is 1 in 6, right? So what's the probability of A? The probability of A, what's the probability of getting a 2, 4, or 6? Well, that's 3 out of the total, which is 6. You have a 3 in 6 chance, or 1 in half chance, of getting of rolling an even number. That makes sense, right? Just think about it. Um, there's three evens and three odd numbers on a six-sided die. Now, what's the probability of just getting a multiple of three? Well, that's two options out of six, so plus two-sixths, right? Then you subtract this one-sixth because there's the duplicate of getting the six. Um, based off of our sample space, and that would be end up you would end up getting when you do the math, which I'm sure you know I do. Three plus two is five, minus one is four, uh, four sixths. Um, you don't have to reduce it. I'm saying you have a four and six chance of getting um, the probability of getting a union B or A or B of both. Um, so that's pretty much that for now. Um, I'll have an idea. What if I told you? What's the probability of getting an even number or a 1? Um, let's, let's think about that. So the probability of getting an even number or a 1 would be the probability of getting an even number plus the probability of getting a 1, right? But you have to subtract, just like we did how we subtracted the probability of getting one, one, uh, the number 6, the probability of getting... Oops, I don't know what happened here. The probability of getting an even number and a 1, or intersect 1. Okay, so the probability of getting an even number is 3 sixths, 1 half. The probability of getting a 1, rolling a 1 on a 6-sided die, would be 1 and 6. Now, what's the probability of getting an even number and 1? Well, you can't, because 1 is not an even number, right? Think about that. So this is 0. Um, so the answer is 4 sixths, um, but let's talk about this section right here real quick. Um, that's something that's called mutually exclusive event or disjoint. And what that means is that the two events can't happen. You cannot roll an even number and w 1. Like 1 is not an even number, therefore you can't calculate its probability, so it's 0. You can't happen. Um, so that's pretty much that. So we're going to leave it off there. Um, hope this problem helped you. Um, just thinking about that, you could look at the Venn diagram too. Like um, This could help for just using the picture for its simplicity and the formula is used for complexity is kind of my theme for this video. Um, I didn't really go into it that much, but this one you kind of just use intuition. Just think about what you're doing um, rather than just plugging and chugging in a formula. So keep that in mind, guys.